Well, today's been an interesting day so far. Uh, yeah. One of the more interesting I've had in my time as a priest. So I was at Hunnamer, uh, the parish that I don't live at today. I was praying before Mass, um, just getting going on my office of readings and those kinds of things, and uh, one of the preachers came up towards me and uh, told me that there's a gentleman who looked a little banged up, clothes were kind of torn up and stuff like that, and uh, so prayers were set aside for that moment until later. And uh, yeah, so one thing led to another. He, he had rolled his car uh, about a mile north of the cemetery, the church. There's a really nasty curve. Uh, people who know or live around here know it's there, but uh, people who don't uh, can, can be caught off guard and uh, can cause some damage and has caused a lot of damage. So, I uh, could smell alcohol on him. And uh, I'm not. Not um, what's the word for it? I'm not divulging any information that was secret. She, uh, lots of pressure saw him. Uh, his front teeth were in really tough shape. Um, looked like he had had some dental work done, and uh, I don't know if it was because of drugs or what or a fight, but he was in tough shape. So called 911. Um, a little sketchy of the guy and um, just wanted to make sure that my pressures were going to be safe. He didn't seem aggressive. I don't think he wanted to do anything. I think he would have, if he would have done something, it would have been easy to take care of him. He was, um, he was cold. He had spent the whole night outside. So, a man in a very tough situation. Called 911, and uh, the, the difficult thing about where the church is located is between two counties basically. Just a mile north where the accident happened is uh, the county line between Minneha and Lake. So, they transferred me to, to, to Lake County uh, Emergency, then back to Minneha County, since that's where I was. So, we got things taken care of. Um, Mass was delayed by about 15 minutes or so, and um, yeah, just pray for him. Um, one of the things I, I, I pray for a couple of people, groups of people, I should say. Um, I often pray for first responders, um, you know, those who serve as firefighters, as sheriff's deputies, as cops, um, they don't have an easy job, and some people make it tougher on them than what it needs to be. We've seen that, uh, we've seen evidence of that pretty easily. Also pray for, so pray for them, pray for the first responders, but also pray for the gentleman who was in a tough situation, his name is Dylan. He's not from around here. He had a Texas license or a driver's license. Um, pray for him. What else can you do? Um, I don't know if he'll be charged with anything. Uh, he, you know, he did leave an accident scene. He was the only one that was involved, thank God. He wasn't wearing a seatbelt. He was thrown from the vehicle. Uh, I'm surprised he was in as good a shape as he was. Probably having hypothermia, probably low on fluids, all that stuff. <sighs> A couple lessons I've learned from this incident. Don't drink or drive. Don't ever do it. The commercials are true. Even if they think you're okay, you're not. When you have a curve like that, that uh, that he was trying to negotiate, you have to slow down pretty... Yeah, the sign says 35, and it means 35. Don't drink and drive. Don't do drugs. 
um, what you should do, help them. Help them, help them get through that situation. You know, one of the things I've been doing in both places is a DVD series from the Augustinians who called the True Reformers. I tell you, it was St. Ignatius of Loyola. Wonderful saint. You know, he's much like St. Paul, had a conversion and uh, moved him. He went through a lot. And one of the things that, you know, has become, you know, known to me, you know, through his writings and through his spirituality is how Christ, how present Christ is to each of us. So the next time you have a conversation with somebody, don't take it for granted. Listen to them. Try and help them if you can. It's one of the things I face, you know, whenever somebody comes to me asking for help. I don't know what kind of situation they're in. I don't know if they're doing okay, if they're a believer, if they're not a believer. Listen to them. Get a read on them. You know, it's one of the things I've had to do as a priest is to learn body language and learn how to read a personality. Some people are tough. Some people will hide things very well. that they are made in the image and likeness of God, they are loved.